Hello, and welcome to a virtual learning module presented by New Farm. I am Rod Marquardt, the National Warm Season Lawn and Landscape Specialist with New Farm. I will be talking about chinch bugs today. Let's start by talking about the biology and identification of chinch bugs. Chinch bugs are very tiny. They can be hard to see in the grass or the lawn. They are, they are about a tenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch long. They suck the plant juices out of the plant, out of the grass, out of the leaf sheath, the roots, and, even, and the stems of the plant. The life cycle is about four to six weeks in the summer, so there can be many, many generations in different parts of the country, particularly in South Florida, where there will be between seven to 10 generations per year. I happen to live in South Florida, and I've seen chinch bugs in the middle of December and January, so they can happen anytime. Generally, the new injury uh, will start to appear in May. As you can see on the slide, we've got an adult, an egg, and then we've got the different stages of nymphs down to the tiny littlest uh, baby nymph there. Southern chinch bug damage and detection is something that's uh, very important to uh, ensure that you keep your lawns healthy. Some of the symptoms of the chinch bug damage is that the grass growth declines, it starts to turn yellow and then brown, then finally big patches or small, starting small and then getting bigger, uh, patches of grass start to die. So how does this happen? So chinch bugs, they feed with their straw-like proboscis. Um, and as they feed, they inject, inject a toxin that causes the grass leaves to turn yellow and then turn brown before dying. Um, the adults feed on both the leaves and the stems of the grass blade. The uh, nymphs feed on just the roots generally below the soil level. So they're kind of uh, all over the plant uh, depending on the stage of life that they're in. When they're young, you're not going to see them so much because they're more down in the soil. When they're a little older, they're all over the place. How do you detect them? First of all, look for yellow grass, not dead grass. I look in the yellow grass along the uh, kind of the fringe of the dead area. Look in the soil surface and the thatch. Personally, I find it easiest to get down on my hands and knees, spread the grass, and if you know what you're looking for, they're not too hard to find. You'll find uh, uh, the adults and the nymphs in the middle of the summer, or earlier in the year, you might just find the nymphs. Generally, if you're seeing damage, you're probably gonna find the adults. You'll typically find them near sidewalks and driveways where the heat from the sidewalk and the driveway will start a dry area. They like to be in dry areas. Um, areas that have poor irrigation, you'll also find them a little bit more heavily in first than you will in the rest of the turf. As a general rule of thumb, you can find them in perfectly healthy areas as well where none of those conditions exist, but uh, that's kind of where they generally tend to start. Um, you can also find them with a dust buster vacuum, which has a, a screen over it. Um, some people use a typical, I don't know, a, uh, leotard or something like that, but something covering it. And then you suck up the, the uh, soil level, which brings in the chinch bugs. And then you deposit those findings on a light colored surface and you will see the chinch bugs. So here's some examples of different sorts of damage in the turf. The first one, scalping damage done by a weed eater. The next one is herbicide damage. As you can see, it's a uh, very distinct definition to the, the shape of it. Um, chinch bug damage tends to be very irregular. The third one is drought stress, which I wouldn't be surprised if that has chinch bugs in it now because they really like areas that are stressed by drought. And the last one is uh, where the dog has been spending its time. So identifying your problems are really important. So drought stress and irrigation uh, issues very common in Florida, huge issue. Um, very often, this is the lead in to having a massive breakthrough by chinch bugs. Um, this photo is by Rob Clemenzi with Bayer. The, uh, how do you identify the, the drought uh, areas? Generally, the leaf will start to curl, then it will turn light brown to a tan color, and eventually it will die. Irrigation issues can be caused by coverage, poor coverage, or lack of volume, not enough time for the watering. So irrigation is very, very important. 
Um, and if you have poor irrigation, oftentimes chinch bugs will set in. So here's some examples of sprinkler head problems. Uh, the first one there on the, uh, on the left is a head that's just not spraying. It has very poor pressure, so it's just not covering the turf. So I would be checking the whole zone out to see if uh, there's a break in it causing the poor pressure, or maybe at nighttime that house is running the same time as the neighbor, and so the pressure is not there. You may not see it during the day if you run the zone by itself, but you have two, three, four, eight, ten houses all watering at the same time and water pressure drops and you get that uh, frog's eye type of appearance. Looks like the, the head is circled there, so it's probably broken, but hard to say. Um, same thing with the next one. You're getting poor coverage. It could be either of those causes. The water is not spraying. It's just reaching that one little band. The southern chinch bug is the number one pest in St. Augustine grass, especially in Florida. Uh, this pest can do acres and acres of damage on a single property in a very, very quick time. Of course, New Farm does have some solutions and we will talk about those as we go along. Here's a photograph of a lawn that is experiencing damage from southern chinch bugs in St. Augustine grass. If left untreated, chinch bugs will cause unsightly damage and potentially kill the lawn. This will result in expensive lawn resodding. Furthermore, failure to control chinch bugs could damage more than just the lawn. It can cost a lot of damage to your reputation as a company or result in costly callbacks. And the worst of all, in the end, you can lose your customer. So what do you do when you have chinch bugs? Arena is the answer. With Arena, you have effective control, including on pyrethroid resistant chinch bugs. Pyrethroid resistance is a widespread problem in the state of Florida. I personally first started to see it back in about 2004. Um, it's, it's throughout the state and you don't know whether you have pyrethroid resistance or not until you do your treatment or you take a sample in and send them into the lab. It's easiest and most effective just to treat with a product that's going to work. Arena is the longest lasting residual product with up to 120 days or even longer in certain circumstances for season long control. You also get rapid control with the feeding of the insects stopping in hours. In addition, Arena will control other pests, including grubs, nuisance ants, suppression of mole crickets, and several others. Here we look at some slides documenting the research done by Dr. Eileen Buss from the University of Florida, showing the difference between treating with a with Arena as compared to a pyrethroid on pyrethroid resistant chinch bugs. As you can see, applied on July 14th to an area that had significant amount of chinch bugs. Two months after application, so in September, the untreated areas and the pyrethroid treated areas were no different. Whereas the arena treated area had a significant reduction in the amount of turf injury by those chinch bugs in the first example. Then the second example showing the control of the chinch bugs, how many chinch bugs were found in a three square foot area after seven days, 33 days, and 62 days. Again, very, uh, uh, when not treated and when treated with a pyrethroid, um, the chinch bugs, especially after 33 days, were significant. There was a lot of them there. Um, the pyrethroid did make a distance, but still there was a lot of them um, compared to using arena after 60 days. Some more uh, slides of, of data for you, um, showing some of the reasons why arena is so effective for chinch bugs. So solubility is very important. The solubility determines how the molecule will move with water, how much, how it stays in the water and where it will go. So if you have a really, really soluble product like Meridian, it will get into that water and where that water goes, it will go. Um, 
whereas a celebrant is not water soluble, so you have a hard time getting into the water. All of these are, are products that uh, um, are used for turf insects, um, so they're quite common out there. Arena's kind of in the middle, a little bit less soluble than Merit. Um, Merit's still not uh, super soluble, but it's more so than Arena. Then you have the soil binding potential. So you, you, you want it to bind to the soil a little bit so it doesn't, again, wash right through. However, you don't want it to bind so tightly that it won't let loose because it will take longer to get there. So Arena really has a nice combination of solubility and binding potential to allow it to get into the thatch layer, which is the primary place where the chinch bugs are located. Here's a chart showing the best timing to treat for chinch bugs with Arena. Um, again, living where I live in South Florida, the timing may be a little bit earlier. Um, this is an average across the state. So generally, um, May, June, July, August, depending on whether you're treating as a curative or a preventative. Um, I tend to do my treatment when I see the first activity for the first significant activity of chinch bugs in the spring. And when I go out and I treat my chinch bugs in my lawn, then I'll do a blanket spray and treat everything. If I were in a lawn care company, that approach works where you start to see chinch bugs and that's how you know, okay, my timing is now to go and treat everything. And again, in many parts of Florida, that will be May, June or July. Um, Further south you get, that moves up maybe into March, April, May, uh, depending on the chinch bug activity and how things are looking that year. There are several other chinch bug products on the market. Um, again, there are uh, many pyrethroids that used to be very active on chinch bugs. Um, I used to treat with uh, by Fenfrin on a regular basis back in 2000, 2001, two, three, four. Um, even in areas where you don't have resistance, they're still effective. Unfortunately, we just don't know how widespread resistance is. So uh, those that chemical class has become uh, much more difficult to have good results. Um, Merit or imidacloprid, again, is a good long lasting product for chinch bug control, it's not as effective as Arena. You, you will generally have a little bit more breakthrough. Um, however, it can be effective. Then there's Meridian, again, another product that uh, will treat for chinch bugs. Um, the highest rate of Meridian though is not able to provide the same rate as what you can get with Arena. So you don't get the same longevity. Um, Arena is, is a proven product for chinch bugs data back performance with an excellent experience in the field. Thank you very much. I hope that was informative. Uh, we are by your side 24 seven. Let us know how we can help. I'm here for you. New Farmers here for you. Have a great day.